Here it is, 7.15 in the morning. The coffee is barely kicked in yet. And I have to deal with Mr. Von Beide. No, don't chew your feet. Ugh. Good heavens. Morning, my peeps. Good morning and happy Thursday. It's a very happy Thursday for me because as you can see, I'm not taking Allie to school. And that's because she came home and announced, guess what, mom? No school. I'm done. And I'm like, wait, June 1st is the last day of school. And she goes, nope, because of the classes she took, she is literally finished. There are no other exams. They would just have her sitting in a cafeteria watching movies. I'm like, I ain't wasting. Nobody got time for that. So she's home and I didn't have to, you know, take her. I still got up early to get Glenn his coffee and make sure he's all organized before sending him off to work. But, and I'm working of course, but I'm taking full advantage that I've got this full hour lunch that I don't have to use to do pickups and drop offs. So I did do a drop off, dropped off for Beck at work, but now I'm going in Ross. I'm going to get some airtight uh, food canisters because um, the ones I've got, they're old and I mean, let's face it, I bought them at Walmart a gazillion years ago. They're not very airtight anymore. So in the spirit of reorganization and, you know, doing things, trying to build on what my mom laid a foundation for, I'm going to go in and get some new canisters. For exciting stuff, guys. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Bye. Let me tell you, felt like Forrest Gump because I was running, trying to get back over to the house and log back into work. The traffic was awful, but I grabbed this kettle corn. Guys, it's so good. Oh my gosh. Or maybe I'm just hungry, but it's by Whole Earth. Well, anyway, let me get back to work real quick, but I wanted to share it because I opened it up and started eating. I go, man, this is really good. So if you see it, grab it. They had it at TJ Maxx for uh, I think $2.99 for the bag. Love you guys. Check in a little bit. Okay guys, so here are all the canisters that I got at TJ Maxx because Ross didn't have any good ones and these are the ones I like because most of these airtight canisters you have a lid that you got to kind of wrestle with and press down and make sure you get everything. Now these are really cool because you pop up this little thing and that breaks the seal and when you put the seal back, put the lid back on, all you have to do is push that down and that thing is airtight. You can feel the vacuum when you do that. And so I got two of this tall size, two of these skinnier, you know, taller ones, a couple of this, a couple of this. I'm not sure if a whole bag of sugar is going to fit in any of these, which is what I really, you know, motivated me. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I got to wash them out and take all the stickers off and stuff. And then I'll uh, report back in to show you. Um, might as well just go ahead and embarrass myself and show you these old canisters. I mean, I know it's kind of dark, but you get the drift. Walmart, and I found out about them because I bought one of these locking ones the other day because Glenn had brought home this Cinnabon Caramel Pecan Bon. It's a cappuccino mix, and I didn't have an extra canister, so I went and I got this, and when I realized how good it was, I'm like, I need a bunch of those. And that way they're all, you know, kind of the same. So I'll let you see the after once I've got everything moved into the new canisters. Exciting times. Doesn't take much to throw me. It's kind of strange about dogs and their tendencies. 
It's a nice afternoon here, so nice on the porch here in Amarillo, Texas. Green trees, everything's greened up. It's so pretty. I'm so glad that, that it's not winter anymore. I finally got the chicken breast thawed. So, Allie wanted crispy chicken, but not breaded. So after much debate, <laughs> we came up with grilled chicken breasts. So Glenn's going to be home in about an hour, and I can have him grill these. So I need to get them marinating. Um, I'm going to throw them just in good old mojo and Worcestershire sauce in a baggie, throw them in the fridge, and uh, throw them on the grill when he gets home. And I'm just going to make some white rice with it and pull leftovers out of the fridge. And that way we can go ahead and maybe finish off the rest of that onion baked onion casserole thing and I think we even had some corn left from last night so here we go poor Glenn comes home from work he's dog tired I tell him do you want me to change dinner plans because I already have chicken marinating for you to grill and if you're tired and plus he's feeling sick he's coughing and I don't know if it has to do with allergies although we take a lot of allergy medicine here <laughs> Flonase and Zyrtec. Um, but he said, no, I'm fine to grill. I'll, I'll start grilling right after I do the yard. I'm like, oh, no. So bless his heart for, you know, doing the yard and grilling, feeling lousy. <sighs> but this is why I'm blessed, you guys, because I don't know what I'd do without him. Talk to you in a bit. So, Allie decided she wants black beans. So, I guess it's going to be that grilled chicken with white rice and black beans. And I'm still going to try to get rid of some of those leftovers. <laughs> Well, we dodged a bullet because just as Glenn was finishing up the yard and coming inside to grill, the weather took a real nasty turn. It got black and very blustery and fortunately it just blew right on over, which I'm grateful for because I've had enough of the rain, let me tell you. And the yard looks awesome. So much better. It'll be nice when you can finally move that mulch and let the grass grow there again, but it's still a pit, <laughs> a pit of doom if we move the mulch. So there it remains for now. Anyway, guys, I shouted out a couple other channels today, uh, Stingray1975 and Dreaming. Both really good channels, offer something different, and I enjoy watching them. So as always, Give them a little look, see if you like it, and if you do, go ahead and subscribe and support them. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.